always want to know what is the material basis of behavior, what goes on in the nervous system. So in a way I had to be a neurologist. I've lived a fair number of years and there are a number of high points. Some of them are falling in love, especially falling in love for the first time. Um, but I think I love seeing patients. Some remain in my mind very clearly. One of them motionless in a, in a severe post-encephalitic disease for many years and the wonderful way in which he came to when I gave him L-Dopa. Uh, he, he is the Leonard L of the movie Awakenings and I felt very, very close to him. Art and science are not only complementary, but art can be directly helpful to science. In performance art, for example, dance shows possibilities in the nervous system and the um, uniting of body and mind. Whether we will ever find the precise cerebral basis of consciousness, and indeed whether that's a legitimate question, is, uh, is a hot issue. Although we have learnt a huge amount about the brain, and especially in the last 15 years where we've had forms of functional brain imaging and can see which parts of the brain become active when people are imagining music or imagining a face, um, these are very crude approaches. Um, one can stick an electrode into a single cell, or you can take a picture of of a hundred million cells at work, but the in-between part is missing. Something like a hundred million groups of cells, each with up to 10,000 connections and in constant communication. It's, it's larger than the number of, of stars in the universe, and um, so we are very far from getting an intimate picture of what goes on in the brain. It's a long-term project. It will probably take at least 30 or 50 years. Whether we can then rest or whether this will simply reveal further depths, I don't know. <laughs>